If you are a business owner or an entrepreneur who wants to launch their own healthcare app, then you have come to the right video. In this video, we will show you how a patient can easily use our healthcare app to connect with a doctor for a consultation and purchase prescribed medication directly from the app. Join us as we explore a more detailed step-by-step -step working of our healthcare app. To book an appointment, the user first needs to log in or sign up for the patient app. If the user is new, they need to register by filling in the required details. If the user is already registered, they can simply go to the login screen, enter their login credentials, and press login. Upon logging in, the user will land on the app's homepage. Here, they can directly search for a specific doctor, perform a department search, or check the popular doctors. Let's click on the See All option in the Find Your Doctor section. This will take us to the Find Your Doctor section, which lists all available departments. If the user wants to connect with a general physician, we will click on that option. Next, we see the list of doctors in the general physician department, along with their details. Each doctor's profile shows options at the bottom for Consult Online or At Clinic. Let's take the example of Dr. James Smith, we see that online and clinic consultations, and both options are enabled on his profile. And if the user, Frank Williamson, wants consult with Dr. James Smith, so he clicks on the Consult Online button. This takes Frank to Schedule page where he can book an appointment with Dr. James Smith. But before Frank schedules an appointment, he first checks his own profile to see if it's updated. Frank checks his profile and notices that his weight is not updated, so clicks on the weight icon and moves to the next screen where he updates his weight from 74 kg to 76 kg and presses Continue button. Frank then returns to his profile page, where his weight is now updated to 76 kg. Frank then notices that his personal details were last updated on January 22nd. To edit them, he clicks on the Edit button. He is then taken to the Personal Details page. Here, we see questions related to the patient's lifestyle. Frank begins answering by selecting the options that best suit him. To continue, he presses the Next Questions button, which takes him to additional questions. He follows the same process and selects the options that best match his most recent lifestyle pattern. Once he's done, Frank presses the update button and gets a message that personal details are successfully updated and then he presses continue button, which takes him back to his profile. Next, he updates the how are you feeling section, indicating his current state for his doctor's appointment. After completing this, he presses Update and returns to the Schedule page. Next, we are taken to the Appointment page, where detailed information about Dr. James Smith is shared along with appointment booking details. Let's book an appointment for August 20th, Tuesday. From the available hour slots, we select the 11 a.m. slot and then press the Book Appointment button to confirm the appointment. After this, we are taken to the payment page. At the top, we see the booking slot we selected earlier. Below that, we have Dr. James Smith profile, followed by the consultation fees, taxes and charges, and the total amount to be paid. Next, there are several payment methods available, credit or debit cards, app wallet where we have a balance of $250.6, and other options like Google Pay, Apple Pay, Stripe, Venmo, and PayPal. There is also an option to apply a promo code if the user has one. Since there is a balance available in the user's wallet, we will select the wallet to make the payment. So, we choose the wallet as payment method and then click the make your payment button. Next, if our booking is successful, we are taken to a page that provides the user with the update booking confirmed along with the booking details. The user is also given the options to cancel or reschedule the booking. Additionally, there are some terms and conditions related to the online booking for the user. To access their app, 
a doctor first needs to log in or sign up to the doctor app. If this is the doctor's first time using the app, they will need to register with their mobile number. To log in, the doctor will enter their 10-digit contact number and receive a 6-digit OTP, which they will use to log into the app. Now this login is done by Dr. James Smith with whom we earlier booked an appointment. After logging in, Dr. James Smith, with whom we previously booked an appointment, can view his daily tracker. This tracker displays the total number of patients under his care, his appointments for the day, and any phone calls he needs to make. Below this, there are notifications showing his recent chats with patients. By clicking View All, Dr. Smith can access the chat screen, which contains records of all his previous and current patient chats. If we click on any specific chat, it will open up. Let's click on the chat with Benjamin Jones, which will display a new chat screen with all recent activity between Dr. Smith and Benjamin. From the bottom menu bar, clicking on the Profile button grants access to Dr. Smith's profile. At the top right is his system-generated ID, which cannot be modified. However, Dr. Smith can change his profile picture. The profile also includes personal details such as name, contact number, email, age, experience, and gender. At the bottom, there is a biometric authentication option, which is currently disabled. Next. Clicking on the Visits button in the menu bar shows today's appointments for Dr. Smith at the top. The first appointment is with a patient named Frank Williamson from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Below that, there is a stats section that can be viewed on a weekly and monthly basis, followed by details of recent visitors. Let's click on the session with Frank Williamson. We are now at the patient profile page. Here, we can see Frank Williamson's patient history, and Dr. Smith has the option to accept or reject the video call. Let's press the Accept button. Dr. Smith now needs to initiate the call by pressing the Start Call button, but before doing that, he decides to check Frank Williamson's patient history by clicking on the Patient History button. Dr. Smith is now able to check Frank Williamson's patient history details. There is a segment called, How is the patient feeling, which was updated by Frank himself, providing Dr. Smith with an idea of Frank's current health condition. Dr. Smith can also check the personal details section of Frank by clicking the View button. This takes Dr. Smith to questions related to Frank's lifestyle. Frank had previously updated this segment by selecting the options that best matched his most recent lifestyle pattern. After reviewing all these questions, Dr. Smith clicks on the Continue button, which takes him back to Frank's appointment screen. Dr. Jones now needs to initiate the call by pressing the Start Call button to connect with Frank Williamson for a video call. Then comes the actual video call consultation between the doctor and the patient. Here, Dr. Smith will add his notes and the names of the medications that Frank Williamson needs to take. He will also specify the time around which the medicines are to be consumed and whether they should be taken before or after eating food. Once the doctor presses the Update button, this prescription and its details will be reflected in the patient's app. With this, we come to the end of our healthcare app overview. This is the base version of our app, and it can be further upgraded to meet your specific requirements. Now that you understand how our healthcare app works, are you ready to bring your unique healthcare app idea to life? Using our base model, you can create specialized apps like an elder care platform, a mental health app, a pregnancy app, a physical therapy app, or a diet and nutrition app or any other healthcare app of your choice. Then, connect with us at Code Brew Labs. With over 5,000 satisfied clients worldwide, we're experts in custom software and app development. Our team of highly skilled developers and designers leverages cutting-edge technologies and advanced AI to create customized, user-friendly apps tailored to your business needs. Contact us by clicking on the link given in the description. Fill up the form with your name, your email address, your contact number and a few details about your project along with the date and time slot when you will be able to attend a call. 
Click Submit which will take you to the next screen where you can select your project budget and your industry, after doing that click Submit. And now your query is registered with us. This way, you can easily schedule a free consultation and a personalized demo session with us at a time that suits you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.